All right, so I'm going to make you a quick video uh, to answer your Facebook post there about how to set up your speed lights and whatnot using the 622 triggers and the 622 TX on top of your camera. Real quick, I got a 568 right here. Got it turned on. It is on manual. It is on top of a 622C trigger. Now, I'm going to turn the trigger on. It is in group A. Second one, I got here. If you look right there, it's in manual. Also, turn your trigger on. Whoops. All right, we're going to put this one as group B. All right, so you see you hit that button, second light lit up, that makes it group B. Let's go up here to your camera real quick. All right, turn on the 622TX. Anyway, if you look on top of my camera, I got my 622TX. All right, so... If you look right there, everything is in TTL. I shoot in manual, so I'm going to change group A. Whoops, let's change that to manual. Group B, I am going to change that to manual. Group C, I'm gonna turn that one off. have group A and group B on to coincide with what I have my triggers set up at. I've got it channel 1. If you look in the top right corner on my 622TX it's channel 1 which coincides with what I have on my 622 triggers. I'm using channel 1 with them as well. Now whenever you're adjusting and you're setting up your flashes so that you can take your photos at your photo booth you've got this part set up just adjust whichever um, whichever flash you want to be your strongest I would start at put a group A make it your key light start it at half power then I would go to group B I would make it your rim lighting or your, your fill light Started at probably a quarter power. Take a couple of photos, see how that looks. Those are on. Let's check out our speed light. All right, which one is this? This is group B. All right, so right there we got group B. Is that a quarter power? Boom, quarter power. This is group A right here, right there. Group A, half power. Look at our speed light. Group A, half power. They're not in TTL mode. 